hi <laughs> it's been a while um how's it going uh yeah it's been two years since i've done uh youtube that's a long time uh two years that's like i started it when i was what 16 oh yeah i'm, I'm 18 now I'm, I'm officially adult, adult Eli, I transformed, I'm now not a kid anymore, so you address me as sir, sir Eli, um, and I'm better than you now, but yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on my anniversary, which is today, uh, I'll have an update on my situation, <laughs> probably towards the end of the video, but I just want, yeah, I just want to look through my videos and more talk about more to just like look back at what I've done in the past year, uh, this year, this year, not last year. A lot of stuff happened. The big thing is I reached like 400 subscribers. I started at a hundred. Oh, I not started, but last year was a hundred, I think, around a hundred. I have 400, I gained 300 subscribers. Uh, that's a lot. So to all you crazy people who have subscribed, uh, thanks. <laughs> that, that's really cool. Um, how many videos have I f officially uploaded? Um, 151 videos. That's a lot of videos. <laughs> That's a lot of time. Um, yeah. So I just want to say, I just want to say thank you for that. Another big thing. Um, my Giratina video reached like 27,000 views. Uh. That's now that's the most I've ever gotten ever. I think. Uh. That's that's like. Like, I put so much time. I worked on that video for months, and the editing and voiceover, oh, and I'm so glad, like, people enjoyed it and liked it. I do want to make a sequel, mainly about a different Pokemon. Either Mimikyu, or I'm thinking about an X and Y video, mainly because there's a lot of cool stuff in that game. And I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but... I want to make more videos like the Garatina one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Another cool thing, um, I did more variety stuff, not just Pokemon, and that's done pretty well. So if you want more indie game stuff, uh, you guys like that, so I'll probably do more. I should probably do a Risk of Rain video about like what Risk of Rain even is, because I realized me playing a modded Risk of Rain before I even made a video about Risk of Rain. I could see why, like, my my audience was confused. I also streamed so much. Oh my gosh. That's one of my things that I'm so happy I did, was, like, get on a good schedule of streaming. And I did that for, like, a pretty good... Like, I streamed a lot. So I'm very I'm very happy for that. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. My phone ran out of storage. Oh, plan for the channel. I do want to make... I do want to have a more higher production. Um, there's a lot of I video ideas I have. I really want to give it justice to like how much effort I put into. So I would probably say better production um, and probably more, I watch a lot of review stuff, like people like reviewing. So I want to do a lot more reviews on mainly probably movies and games <laughs> i like i watch this stuff all the time so mainly one shot i need to do that game justice and do it give it like a 20 minute video all about how it's like the best game in the world uh eventually eventually i really wanted to do more uh fan gamer plush openings i did like one and it did pretty decent or pretty good for my usual content i also strayed away from splatoon i want to do more splatoon stuff i would love to do more of that stuff I did like two videos and they performed horrible. Uh, I think it's because my thumbnail, my thumbnails suck a lot, <laughs> at least for my Splatoon ones. So I want to do more of that. But yeah, sadly this year did really slow down a lot. I only uploaded what for like 15 videos. That's not a lot. I could have done so much better. Last thing is, hey Eli, you've been gone for five months. What happened? Uh, well we moved. Um. We moved. I don't have my computer. I don't have a way to make videos. I don't have a way to edit besides cap cut. Cap cut. But I'm only doing that for this video because it's my anniversary. Um, and I really want to 
like i don't want to just make videos i want to make like the best video i can make and i feel like without having the proper equipment i feel like i don't know that to me means a lot more than getting on a upload schedule <laughs> yeah so that's where the channel is right now i the reason why i haven't made any posts is because i have nothing to update <laughs> i have nothing to update i can't uh you probably won't be hearing from me until like i'm fully until i can start like when i have my setup again set up again basically so yeah i miss you guys a lot well i i like in a, the most like i'm i'm online and i don't really know you guys but i i miss like making videos for you guys i, I should say that I'm a, I I would give my uh, Discord out like oh here's my channel oh here's my server I don't talk on there anymore I've lost all motivation I'm <laughs> so so yeah um, the best thing if you want to support me I would say watch my videos share it with people um, I'm coming back eventually I'm not gone forever um, but it's gonna be I, I I don't I can't give you a date or a time or anything. Uh, yeah, it's been a quite the year. YouTube, like, I thought I was going to be an artist, like a, like a, a, for character design or just making art around last year. Uh, and I went to art, I, I went to like a orientation class for an art school. Uh, and then I tried applying for like an art class, like basically an art college. Um, <laughs> and if I tell you this story, you have, you have to promise not to not want to go to art school. Or you, you have to promise to follow your dreams if you want to go to art school and go to one. But I, when I went there, I realized, oh crap, I, I'm i like not even on the level that these people are on. Um, so my portfolio was like a sketchbook I had, right? Uh, a sketchbook, some sculpting, and that was after like an old year of orientation class. So... I didn't get it <laughs> and I was crushed I was like crap what am I gonna do I've always wanted to be an artist since I was like 11 and I basically got like I should say made fun of but made a fool of myself when I went to this art just to apply um and I realized that video editing is actually you know I watch I watched a video recently uh, a guy named I don't subscribe to him we'll go find him yeah, Scott Christian Sava. He's an artist. You've probably seen him on YouTube Shorts if you watch him. Um, he made a video about the difference between... Yeah, should I pursue the career in art? He basically said, should you have talent? Are you naturally born with talent? Or is it skill that matters? Really good video. But it opened my eyes to, like, working in the field of art. No matter what, whether you're naturally talented or you had to put a lot of skill into it or train, not, like, professionally trained or self-taught, you need to have the passion in your, the field that you want to be in. And I realized, huh, I didn't really have a passion in art. I love doing it, but I, I didn't have like, the passion when, where even though it sucks and you have no motivation and you hate everything, you just do art because you love doing it. And I realized that's YouTube, that's video editing mainly um, and filmmaking. So you guys have allowed me to find out that i love video editing i love filmmaking and that that's gonna be the uh career i pursue yeah so i guess thanks for thanks for that <laughs> i rambled for a bit <laughs> sorry about that but yeah um that's my situation uh thanks for supporting me these past two years uh videos coming out question mark uh yeah just thank you guys <laughs> thanks um Sorry, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Still kicking. Um, yeah. See you guys later.